I got started playing the guitar when I was about six years old, but prior to that, I had been playing the ukulele for about a year or two. There was a program, uh, a live show in Pittsburgh called Pittsburgh on Parade, which featured young, uh, young talent. So the act was really simple. I would go out and sing a song with my ukulele, take the ukulele back, hand it to my dad. My brother and cousin joined me and the three of us would go back out on stage and we'd do a tap dance, and we were called the Rhythm Boys. That led to my playing the guitar, which was a little more, you know, a better sounding instrument for my, for my songs. When I went to Carnegie Mellon, I got theory classes that changed my life. I, I thought, geez, I knew all that stuff. I knew the chords, I knew the harmony, I knew the theory. I didn't know what counterpoint was, I didn't know some of the real technical things, but getting the theory and getting the education of how it all comes together was the most important thing. And I think that, that led me to, to become a better teacher, and I think music education is important. I always have had a strong desire to pass along my love for the guitar to other people. Basically, I'm really devoted to jazz, and so I try to make all my students jazz players. <laughs> I hope my legacy is that they remember me as a good guitar player and somebody who shared music. I, I've always been a little bit of a musician and a little bit of a performer, you know, and I think that's, that's been part of my success because I'm always interested in pleasing the crowd and so I guess my, le my legacy will be music.